welcome to the channel. My name is Venice and I make travel and lifestyle videos. I'd like to share with you, my dear viewers, my recent onsen escapade in the mountains here in Japan. Let's go! Welcome to Shofuro Matsuya here in Nasu Shiobara. And it's actually my second time here because the first time was really amazing so we decided to come back again. I made a video about it before and I'll link it down below. There are three reasons why I love this place. First, it has a private onsen in the room, they have delicious food, and the room view is so beautiful. Now, not all ryokens or Japanese traditional inns have a private bath, or called onsen if it's a genuine hot spring. And the rates for these are quite higher than average. But if you're an onsen lover like me, it's definitely worth every penny. Now let me give you a room tour. Let's go! This is the Genkan, where you leave your outer slippers and we are your inner slippers. And this is the main room where you can see the bedroom. We have the single size bed and a queen size bed. It's very red, I know. <laughs> and right there, you can see the huge window, which makes the space look very wide and spacious. It's so nice. Just imagine waking up to this in the morning. It's so beautiful. And this is the living room area. And we have a nice comfy couch here where we can sit and enjoy the view. And here is the private outdoor room bath. The balcony where the bath is is also so spacious I can even dance. And there's a chair where you can just chill after taking a bath. And here's the bath which you can also access from the semenjo or the shower area. Now let's talk about food. So for all the meals we had in this ryokan, we ate it here at our own private dining room. And it's not uncommon for ryokans to have their own private dining room, but this one has a really nice view of the river and the food was amazing. Just look at this Wagyu beef, shabu shabu, oh gosh, it's so good. The meat was just so perfect and soft, it melts in your mouth. It tastes good as well with Nihonshu or Japanese sake. Yummy. And more sake, and the river, and nabe. Yummy nabe. Mm -mm. And for breakfast, they gave us an option if we wanted Western or Japanese. But since we weren't satisfied with a Western style breakfast before, we stayed with Japanese style. The meal was so filling that we decided to have a light lunch at Shazu Cafe in Nasu. After coming back to the Ryokan, we decided to walk around and see the nearby attractions like this bridge. And finally, on our last night, we decided to chill and sit inside this cocktail bar in the Ryokan. The cocktails are good, and we get to watch the bartender mix our cocktails. It was quite entertaining. Overall, I love the experience and would definitely come back the next time. Would I recommend it? Yes, it's quite pricey, but it's worth it. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you on my next one. Goodbye!